Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Cat Connection. I'm going to give you a tour of our shelter here, which is still in construction, but we're estimated to open, give or take, pending how construction finalizes around 322. So follow me and I'm gonna give you an idea and kind of try to paint a visual of how we plan to have the space laid out. So as you can see, I've started against this wall here, which goes from one end of the facility all the way down to the other. And what we're going to do with this space is turn this into three very large pods that will be built with chain link, um, safe for the cats, and we'll have separators in between each pod that are chosen of fear-free coloring. It will uh, provide ultimate privacy for the cats and also be easy to keep clean and sanitized. In each of these pods is going to be kind of the ultimate cat setup. It allows them to have this, the free space to walk around, play with toys, stretch. They're going to have vertical perches and hiding spots and beds and, and you know all the comforts and luxuries that we would want a cat to have in a shelter so that it doesn't really feel like a shelter during their short visit here. So we have this entire space here that will be three pods and then in this corner we have another space that we're turning into two more smaller sized pods but still big enough to allow maximum comfort for the cats and we'll kind of put some of our shire or, or you know cats that might not get along so well with other cats in those areas. And what we also have here, which is pretty exciting, is uh, going to be our kitten space. And it, what you see here is just the bare bones of what's about to be built. This will be a solid structure followed by a plexiglass viewing to keep the cats, of course, all inside and any other cats that may be, you know, room around from getting in. The kitten area will have, you know, all its necessary kind of fun cat toys, things for them to play, jump and run on. Uh, we hope to have anywhere from six to 12 kittens at a time, depending on, you know, our numbers will change when kittens are available. But this is going to be great because with this facility, again, we'll be able to double, if not triple, the amount of adoptions we've taken in over the years. So we're really excited about being able to rescue more cats. And part of where that will all begin is downstairs. So I'm gonna give you a glimpse of how our intake process will work and what we have built for this shelter because it's all very state of the art. If you follow me, we'll go right downstairs. Again, this space is also under quite a bit of a construction. So just bear with the uh, overall visual here. But what you can see as you look straight ahead is we're almost done with setting up our HVAC system, which is all state of the art. Each room will have its own separate intake for air and outtake for air. And that maximizes and eliminates the potential threat of airborne diseases from being transferred from one cat to another within this facility. So these are probably one of the best systems that, that you can buy. Those cats are gonna have cleaner air in those rooms than we're gonna have out here, basically. So follow me this way, I'll give you just a quick uh, peek at, you know, we have our washroom where all the dishes and litter boxes and stuff will be taken care of. We have our laundry room here, which is, you know, again, uh, all the laundry, all the bedding, uh, some cleaning supplies, things along that line will be going on in here. We've done all brand new plumbing to make these rooms uh, per standards and per, per Massachusetts code for animal sheltering. So this is just one of our rooms. This will be kind of like our overflow room. Um, as you can see, we're still in the midst of building, but this room will mean to serve as a space for a cat to be here for a day or two at best while we wait to put it up onto the adoption floor or off into one of our foster homes. Coming into this way, we have created this corridor as we head into our isolation and quarantine rooms. And this is so that we can maximize keeping any potential threat of airborne viruses from being carried out into the open spaces here. We all have a large quarantine room should we come across any cats that have any wounds of unknown origin or upper respiratory infections or any diseases where they'll need to be in a space separately and be provided with care while they're here. And what you see in front of us is going to be our intake 
room, which is our largest room, and that's because every cat that TCC rescues will begin here. This room will have a full layout with a sink, a treatment table, all, a cabinet with all the necessary supplies, and everything that we'll need to be able to care for these cats in this facility. So again, as you can see, we're getting through a lot of our work, but we're really looking forward to being able to rescue uh, a lot more cats than we have in the past. And that really means a lot to us because our main mission is to get every cat off the streets that we possibly can and find them a home. So thank you for coming to visit and have a tour of our facility. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.